yesterday we had grass. Just a minute, man. Kind of like a glow plug warm up, except for it's actually just, I leave it in the ignition for a couple seconds for the uh, fuel pump to top off. Alrighty. Windshield. And time to take, hey, 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 where are you going? Come on, we're going for a walk. Come on, come on. Come on, man. check this tire. Yeah, it's fine. I got one that goes soft. I've actually bought some tire jack for it, but the weather hasn't been in my favor as far as, well, it has been. I was just too lazy. That, so that was a total lie. Disregard that at the last bit. Oh yeah. That was bad. Wowzers. So, yeah, we've got about three inches of really crunchy snow. Yeah, that's not bad. Just gonna open my radiator a little bit. And allow my uh, headlights to be able to be seen by oncoming traffic. All right. So I want the logo to be seen. Good. All better. Yeah. So this is uh, this is kind of a surprise storm. I was not expecting this, but then again. Berkshires, this is what we get occasionally. Alright, it's good enough for government work. All I gotta do is wait for the side windows to clear a little bit, and I'm on my way. Actually, let me get the roof too. got some rust I'm gonna have to take care of this summer luckily not much of it has actually changed this is the OEM rust <laughs> so I'll take it I'm just gonna sand that down and probably start with the uh, hand painting it or something like that I've been thinking about doing zebra striping one of my vehicles I did zebra stripes on a Suzuki Samurai several years back the advantage to that was it's a breakup pattern. Um, when you're in the woods, zebra stripes do not attract mosquitoes, unlike some of other darker colors. But, ugh, it breaks it up, and I guess the mosquitoes don't really like it. So that's, that's helpful, especially in a lot of the areas that I used to ride in. And then I can also hand paint it, so if I get marks like this, I can sand the living crap out of it. If I'm zebra striping, I can just paint that one section. I don't have to paint the whole truck. 
I don't have to worry about the aesthetics of it. It'll take care of, I mean, this doesn't look real bad right now because I'm out in the bright sun. You should be able to see the dimples in there though. That's dimpled to crap. So if I do the breakup pattern with that, that'll also hide that. So, yeah. I think, I think she might be getting zebra stripe. My wife did not like the zebra striping on the last vehicle that I did. But uh, yeah, she doesn't have to drive the store. So I've had people ask me why sometimes they'll see my wipers pointed straight up and down when I'm parked. And this is why. So what I'll end up doing is I shut the truck off. I bring the wipers up. I shut the truck off while they're up. And then I flip the handle off so that they, they're just up and resting. And that prevents this because all of that ice can't sit there and rest on those blades. I did not do that last night, even though we had the icy rain. And what that would do is prevent all that stuff. So yeah, that's that's why sometimes you'll see my wipers straight up and down. It doesn't bug them. I make sure that they're broken free before uh, before I turn the truck on so that it doesn't, you know, break the wiper motor on the way down. But that's that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can stroll out of here in two wheel drive, but just in case I can't, I'm gonna pre-lock the front end. So this basically just locks the uh, the front hubs, but I don't have the transfer case in. So what that'll do is just allow me to, to shift it in while I'm on the fly if I need to. Although I'm not going to coming up and out of the driveway. So let's, yeah, that's yeah, no problem. The rear end's slipping around a little bit, but not terrible. If it gets icier out, then uh, then it doesn't do that at all. See you later. <laughs> yeah, so our driveway is just enough of a pitch where what ends up happening is um, if it gets like an ice coating on there, a real thin ice coating, there's no weight in the back of this truck whatsoever. So what ends up happening is it just sits there and spins. And because of the knobby tires, it'll kind of drill down into the driveway. It doesn't matter how slow you let the clutch out or anything like that. It just does not have the weight to move forward. So a lot of times I'll have to take and uh, I'll just put it in four-wheel drive just to get it nine feet. And then once I'm past that and I'm back up on the road, I'm fine again. And once you've got momentum, like I can stay in two-wheel drive and once I've got momentum, it's doing fine. So, but I would definitely, I would never buy one of these things unless it was a four-wheel drive. But I also would say that with any pickup truck, I would never buy a pickup truck that was just a two-wheel drive. They are completely useless to me. They, they can't get out of my road. They can't get out of my driveway. They can't go any of the places I like to go. And like when everybody says, oh, just put a bunch of weight in there. It's like, well, I have the truck empty so I can carry stuff. So if I go to get something, I'm empty to start with. So if I got four-wheel drive, that just gets me moving. I can take it right back out of four-wheel drive again and I'm fine. All right. Enough of this rambling. Off to work.